Well, good morning. Still live at the Twan University of Technology as we are here for the launch of National Science Week 2025. And as you heard earlier on, there is a plethora of activities promised, of course, ahead of this launch and, and really the importance that science plays, of course, in um, what happens in, in our role as a country and our global competitiveness scale as well. We're looking at some of the challenges when it comes to funding, but also the, the biggest highlights and obviously um, how we're mitigating against some of those um, ahead of, you know, what what promises to be an exciting week. You heard there are demonstrations, there's student-led innovations, there's also exhibitions that will be on display here. The campus is slowly coming alive as the sun has now officially risen here and uh, we're looking forward to the um, campus coming alive. The energy also um, bringing much needed excitement, of course, as we continue with this launch. So we're going to be chatting more about what we can expect under the theme this year. It's about science, technology, innovation um, for everyone. And Dr. Vatiswa Papu Zamka who's the Deputy Vice-Chancellor here at TUT, of course, for Research and Innovation Experience, um, joins us to chat a little bit further as well. So I'm going to bring into the conversation. Doc, good morning. Welcome. Good morning, Lizelle. How are you? I am fantastic. I mean, we're just looking at this beautiful view behind you. It's, it's really promising to be an exciting time as well as we look at um, the role of science, but equally, you know, the, the role of indigenous knowledge systems. Complementing all of that, given our unique African context, is so important for for asserting ourselves, not only as a country, but as a continent, and of course in that global image. We're at the launch of it here at Sony University of Technology. That collaboration with the department this morning, tell us how that came to be and the significance of it for you. Thank you so much, Lizelle, and uh, good morning to your listeners and to your viewers this morning. And a uh, warm word of welcome to the Tony University of Technology, the largest contact university in the country, hosting over 64,000 students, which is very important then that uh, we host this event today um, and the significance of the event to us, um, not just as uh, Tony University of Technology, but as uh, academic institutions who are the producers of knowledge, who have been supported heavily by our government um, to drive research and innovation. Um, to ensure then that science um, is, 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 is utilized to unlock the economy. The science is utilized to create uh, more employment. Um, for us at Tony University of Technology, uh, this is very much important because uh, through our government, we are hosting uh, a number of centers, a number of technology stations, hubs, artificial intelligence hub, cannabis hub. We are hosting a number of uh, institutes and through these we are driving science and not only just driving science for the students but also ensuring that we are training uh, unemployed graduates in those centers um, scientifically uh, so that they are able to start their own jobs talking about unlocking the economy yeah um, you look at um, just to bring some few examples to you um, our technology station in chemicals which is based in Harangua, in one of our townships in, in the country, um, whereby um, during uh, COVID, we never had to buy sanitizers at this institution. Um, they were produced from there. Uh, if you go to our bathrooms now, you'll find the hand soaps that are being produced from there. We don't go and buy from Pick and Pay or from Macro as an institution. We go and buy from our own uh, technology station, our own centers, particularly to ensure then that we are also driving the test room income. I did mention earlier on that uh, we are heavily supported by our government, but we also need as universities to drive the test stream income and through these centers of science we are able then to uh, produce products that we can sell that we can um, uh, uh, utilize it for us to drive the test stream income you you go and look at the work that is being done uh, in our AI hub talking about the significance of today and the significant significance of science in, in, in society um, we have um, uh, the AI hub which is uh, focusing um, on AI in health Healthcare, AI in agriculture and manufacturing, transportation, telecommunications. And through this, we are able to bring solutions to our everyday challenges. Yeah. So we strongly believe, Lizelle, that universities are not monuments of elite. 
universities exist to solve societal challenges. And of course, working together with our government, working together with our industry. So that's why we are having science to help us to do that. You know, I'm Deputy Vice Chancellor, I'm so glad you've spoken about how it's not just limited for the elites alone. Um, I say this because we need to look at access, especially for rural communities, right? But even if we're looking at an enabling environment, an ecosystem is needed from grassroots levels, perhaps um, in stimulating how one approaches, you know, science and technology. And then in high school, especially given, given the stats about how students are faring in science and, and mathematics, what do you think needs to be done on that front to, to ensure that obviously when they enter tertiary level, there, there's an enabling environment to support them and help them prosper? Um, let me start by saying uh, a lot has to be done in order to inculcate the culture um, of learning uh, to create a conducive environment uh, for our learners to thrive from a very early age. It cannot be that in the 21st century the university or the, 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 the learners will only see the laboratories in the universities. We need to invest more at the lower level so that by the time they come in here and we talk about robotics, we talk about artificial intelligence, we talk about data science, it's things that they can identify with especially for the marginalized communities, those who are in the rural areas. We need to do more. Yes, we appreciate and really acknowledge the heavy investment that our government is doing. It's no longer the same as in the past, but there's still a lot of um, a journey that we need to take to ensure then that those, those learners are fully prepared. They are not, um, they, they, they articulate very well, for lack of a better word, when they come to us, because they would have learned all of that as early as childhood level, not just at uh, grade one, but starting from preschool. What is it that we are, what, what is it that we are making them to learn with and to play with when they are playing? Is it communicating anything to them or is it uh, taking them backwards? Yeah, well, more questions and answers, but obviously I'm um, celebrating the strides that also have been taken. Thank you, um, Deputy Vice Chancellor. Um, of course, just this morning joined by Dr. Vati Sapa Buzamkaka. She's the Deputy Vice Chancellor um, at the Tony University of Technology for Science, Research and, and Innovation and Engagement. At well, I'm just chatting to us about um, the plethora of events and exhibitions that are obviously taking place here, the importance of creating an enabling environment for science and technology and mathematics to prosper from grassroots levels all the way up, obviously, um, as people enter into um, tertiary um, institutions and higher learning. We're looking at, um, you know, what else we can expect as the day progresses. It's slowly warming up a little bit here and so we're going to head on to the exhibition hall where we chat to some of the exhibitors and, and learn of uh, a few um, and learn more about a few of the other activities taking place as she mentioned there's hub public health care there's agriculture um, and so we're looking forward to to how that's going to be infiltrating um, you know the various fields and ensuring that we are globally competitive